Oath Taken in Rome. 15th of August, 1805. Bolivar's second trip to Europe in 1804 transformed his life. During this time, he became sharply aware of the differences between Spain and its American colonies, and he resolved to dedicate his life to the struggle for independence. In May 1805, Bolivar was present in Milan to witness Napoleon Bonaparte crown himself emperor. The next year in Rome, Bolivar formally committed himself before his friend and tutor Simon Rodriguez to dedicate his life to the independence of Spain's American colonies. So then, this is the nation of Romulus and Numa, of the Gracchi and the Horaces, of Augustus and Nero, of Caesar and Brutus, of Tiberius and Trajan. Here every manner of grandeur has had its type, all miseries their cradle. Octavian masks himself in the cloak of public piety to conceal his untrusting character and his bloody outbursts. Brutus thrusts his dagger into the heart of his patron, so as to replace Caesar's tyranny with his own. Antony renounces his claim to glory to set sail on a whore's galleys with no reform projects. Sulla beheads his fellow countrymen, and Tiberius, dark as night and depraved as crime itself, divides his time between lust and slaughter. For every Cincinnatus there were a hundred Caracallus, a hundred Caligulas for every Trajan, a hundred Claudiuses for every Vespasian. This nation has examples for everything, severity for former times, austerity for republics, depravity for emperors, catacombs for Christians, courage for conquering the entire world, ambition for turning every nation on earth into a fertile field for tribute, women capable of driving the sacrilegious wheels of their carriages over the decapitated bodies of their parents, orators like Cicero capable of stirring crowds to action, poets like Virgil for seducing with their song, satirists like Juvenal and Lucretius, weak-minded philosophers like Seneca, complete citizens like Cato. This nation has examples for everything, except for the cause of humanity. Corrupt Messalinas, gutless Agrippas, great historians, distinguished naturalists, heroic warriors, rapacious councils, unrestrained Sybarites, golden virtues and foul crimes. But for the emancipation of the spirit, the elimination of cares, the exaltation of man, and the final perfectibility of reason, it has little or nothing. The civilization blowing in from the east has shown all its faces here, all its parts. But the resolution of the great problem of liberated man seems to have been something inconceivable, a mystery that would only be made clear in the new world. I swear before you, I swear by the God of my fathers, I swear on their graves, I swear by my country, that I will not rest, body or soul, until I have broken the chains binding us to the will of Spanish might. Simon Bolivar, 1805-1815